Hey there, fellas. So in today's episode, I've got this here car. And a while back, you would have seen these powerful search magnets. If one of these attaches to some metal, ripping it off, you'd have to be a pretty strong dude to do that. What else? Also, we've got a schematic. Our viewers actually came up with this one and sent it to us. Right, so we've got that schematic. We've got ourselves a car, some magnets. I suggest we make some sort of working model and see whether the power of a magnetic field can our magnets with their magnetic field propel the car forward. Alright, let's do this. We made gasoline obsolete. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Hey fellas, check out this system we've got here. It's basically the same as on that picture. Here's how this is supposed to work. In the cabin we've got a lever, which we... So the closer you bring them to each other, the more they should be drawn towards each other. I say we go ahead and check to see how well or poorly all of this works. Let me just lift it slightly and see if we have thrust. Oh, look at that. See what's happening? And now I drop it. Okay, so this is a sure path towards it getting away from me. So I'm gonna have to go in. So that I can control the process and have the brake pedal underneath my foot. Are we doing this? Slowly taking off? Look at it go. There you have it. We are moving. Bar out. Okay, we've got the car outside. I'm gonna take my feet away from the pedals. And let's try now. There we go. Oh yeah, I can actually feel it. We've placed a counterweight on this end. After all, it does make this easier to modulate. Now let's go full blast. Okay, the speedometer is almost giving me a reading. We have to be going at least 5 k's an hour. It is moving quite steadily. It's carrying some speed. I would prefer a smooth pavement over this bumpy road, which I'm sure would have allowed us to be moving 60 at this point, if not even faster. But in the winter, over this bumpy surface, yeah, I'd say we did pretty well here. We're already looking at a solid result. Like, this is actually really good. I approve. Oh, wow, that is fast. Time to hit the brakes. The hell, man, carrying that sort of pace. Amazing. Releasing the throttle. And stopping the car. Sweet. And rolling backwards. This is wonderful. Did you guys see that? It bombs, man. Without consuming even a tiny bit of fuel. Alright, fellas. Wouldn't you look at where we got with this? If you guys remember, it's just like that story about Munhausen, who pulled himself and his horse out of that swamp by his hair. This is based on the exact same principle. So as we all know, of course magnets pull towards each other, but here the layout is such that the force and the counterforce yeah, they do interact, but how on earth could they ever move a car? Simply put, it's impossible. Perhaps if you were to drive right up to a wall, like a metal gate, stick the magnets on, and try reversing, if you get some wheel spin happening, they might be able to keep you in place. As for this system, well, there was no way it could ever work. And I'm sure that 99% of you understood that we were fooling around. In reality, when you lift the lever, the magnets are drawn to each other, 
But you see, they obviously... Yeah, they're only attracted to each other. But they do absolutely nothing in the way of propelling the car. <laughs> You're not going to be able to pull a Munchausen in this scenario. It is the real world, right? Anyway, fellas, there you go. You suggested it, we made it happen. Admittedly, this was pretty hilarious, but a working setup this is not. And that's all I have for you guys. Keep those suggestions coming. Why not have some fun every now and then? Comment, give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, catch you later.